Hey guys, it's Victoria and Timmy. Timmy. He's cleaning our whiteboard. Um, but we are going to do some meal prep today. So some of the things we're gonna meal prep, we've only done honestly half of our grocery shopping at this point, so we don't have a ton of stuff to meal prep today, but there's enough that it definitely needs to get done. Things that we're meal prepping today are gonna be onions, peppers, uh, mushrooms. We got a lot of ground burger in our last grocery haul, which was at Aldi's. We got a five pound thing of burger, which for Tim and I, that's a lot of burger and that's going to last us a long time, but it was a really great deal and we just couldn't pass it up. Um, and we also got ground turkey sausage. So we're going to do a little bit of that. We also have to ground up some coffee for coffee in the morning. So we just started recently buying our coffee beans whole. And we do have a spice and coffee grinder here, so we will ground up, or grind up, I should say, what we need. And then we store it in little mason jars, everything pre-measured, so in the morning, when we're really tired and still half asleep, we can come out to our coffee pot, throw in a filter, take this little mason jar, dump it right in, not have to worry about measuring or anything, and it's perfect. So we have to do some of that as well. Um, otherwise... Brussels sprouts, I think we have to meal prep, mushrooms, things like that. You know, our standard stuff. Um, this video will hopefully be kind of short. We are going to um, measure out our ground beef. So we will have our scale out and you'll see how we do that and why we do that. And yeah, come along with us. All right, guys, so we're going to get started on our meal prepping. Say hi, Tim. Hey. Hey. So the first thing we're going to get started on is meal prepping our Parmesan herbed chicken tenders. Now we use these for our buffalo chicken salad and our buffalo chicken wraps and sometimes chicken parm. So Tim's going to get these laid out on a sheet pan over there, but you preheat your oven to 400 degrees so our oven is preheated and ready to go. Um, he's going to lay these guys out and then you're supposed to bake them for 25 to 30 minutes, yet we bake ours for about 35 because they get a little bit crispier on the outside and that's personally what we like. So just spread them out nice and even and he's gonna get those in the oven. And he'll set a timer. You look good. The next thing we're gonna meal prep is our coffee grounds. So. Um, Tim and I just started buying our coffee in the whole bean form and been grinding it ourselves at home. We find that we really, really like it. So we do have a little spice grinder. It's just a little Protractor Celic series. Um, so we literally pre-measure our coffee grounds. So we have these little mason jars. They're just the itty bitty little jars. And what we do is we'll ground up some coffee and we'll pour it in and we've learned that if you um, put them in and you like fill this up, you need to pack this a little bit and top it a little bit more on top to make it the perfect amount of coffee for the two of us. So that's how we do it. So that's something I'm gonna get started on now. And while I do this, Tim is going to prep what? Some onions. Woohoo! fill them until they're basically right up the first ridge once it's packed down and that's perfect. Then I just put the lid on nice and tight and it's all set for tomorrow. And now I'm going to do three more. And while I'm doing that, Tim's still working on the onions over there and you'll see that he has some already cut up. Uh, 
Now I got the onions all meal prepped. Should pull this over for a while. Right. Now I'm going to get started on the broccoli. So we were just a smidgen short, but I think we can make that third one work. So now I am going to clean up this mess. And like I said, Tim's working on the broccoli. So he's sitting here ripping the broccoli tops off, the florets off I should say, and then he chops them up into smaller pieces. Gets them in a container like that. So we have a really cute little movable island or portable island I should say. Looks kind of like this. This guy right here has the marble top, the drawer, the wine rack, which honestly we use more for olive oil than we do wine. We keep our bread and other hard like produce like squash, potatoes, things like that in there. And then underneath we have my Dutch oven, my beautiful Dutch oven and some empty mason jars and jam. And obviously here's our coffee maker and some coffee mugs. Um, ignore this we just have some lime soaking in some water to flavor that water but in this drawer we keep a lot of little stuff so we have things like like tea so we have our favorites are um oh this was the honey vanilla chamomile we have apple cinnamon or cinnamon apple spice and then tim really likes mint tea which we have back here and it's mint sleepy time tea then we have just a couple little bags of tea that we take to work, a couple little Keurigs and tea bottoms, and then we keep our mason jar lids and things in here because they're right above the mason jar. And also in the fall we loved like hot malt cider and things, so we keep that in here. But the full coffee containers we keep tucked in here because they're kind of out of the way and there's something we don't have to worry about seeing and stuff. So. We keep those in there, and then in the morning, obviously, we pull it out, put it in the coffee pot. It's done and good to go, and then when they're empty, we put them in here, and we just kind of fill based on what we need. And it looks like Tim has finished the broccoli, so when he's done with that, I think he's, by looking at this, he's going to get started on the cucumber. Ignore a little bit of the mess. I mean, when you meal prep, there's going to be messes. That's kind of inevitable but you just have to be willing to embrace it and accept it and after you know meal prepping one or two items stop take the time wipe down your station especially if you're going from vegetables or produce to meats definitely want to make sure you're being clean we have meat to prep today but we're doing the meat last that way there's no possible risk of cross-contamination which is really important so just something to keep in mind all right so we're going to meal prep the cucumbers so we're going to slice it right in the middle there. All right. All right. And there, and the cucumbers are all meal prepped in the container and it's ready for salad. So now I'm going to meal prep peppers. As you can see, I've kind of already got a little bit of a jump start on it. So I've just taken the top off of this pepper here and I've chopped it up. And I have my little container here that I'll put them in. Um, and I'm gonna do an orange pepper too, but I haven't deseeded this yet. So that's what we'll do next.
So the camera cut off before I could show you the rest of this, but I finished meal prepping the rest of the peppers. This is just two peppers, the yellow and an orange one. This will be perfect. It'll last us probably four or five days before I chop up some more. And we still have three more peppers in the fridge because I have bought double this time. And Tim is working on the Brussels sprouts here. So he just cuts the bases off and then typically cuts them in half and then that's about it. Chicken is done. Alrighty. Let's take a look. So there's that. Turn our kitchen timer off. Grab a pot holder here. And there's our chicken. All done. We did flip it about halfway through, just so both sides got nice and crispy. But we're just gonna let this sit here and cool a little bit till it starts um, simmering. And we're gonna put it into a container and get it in the fridge. So here is our master list of the quick list that we made for everything to get done. We're just gonna kind of check off what we have done. Coffee beans are done, onions, peppers. Tim finished up the Brussels sprouts. The breaded chicken has come out of the oven. The cucumbers are done. The broccoli's done. So at this point, we still have, I mean, quite a few stuff. We still have the mushrooms, the burger, the turkey sausage, the carrots, and the grapes. But tonight, all we're gonna work on is the burger meat and turkey sausage, and we're gonna save the carrots, grapes, and mushrooms for tomorrow because we're going grocery shopping again tomorrow at Price Chopper, and we can just tack these couple items on to that list. So we're getting ready to meal prep our meat and we decided with our turkey sausage we didn't have to do anything but we're getting ready to do the ground beef. Now again this is 80 ounces or five pounds. This is a lot of meat for Tim and I. We're gonna split this up into like five or six different meals. We've decided we're going to put it in our vacuum sealer which Tim has here which is one of our most used and well-loved kitchen appliances. He's already made two bags so we see hot sealed off ends on each of them. He's getting ready to make his third one now. So while he is making those bags, we have decided that we're going to split this up into six different bags. So what we're going to do is, right T, we're going to do four. Four one pound bags and then we're going to do two half pound bags. Exactly. So we really like homemade meatballs. Tim has a killer homemade meatball recipe that we'll probably put on um, the news feed if you guys think you want it. Let us know, comment below, and we'll make a video for that. Um, but we also have a really good meatloaf recipe that Tim does. We love shepherd's pie. You know, even just making meat sauce is one of our favorite things. So we'll definitely go through this, but we won't go through it as fast as we would like venison or something. All right, so while Tim is making the last couple bags, he has to get some more bag stuff. Um, I got our scale ready. Now it's set at zero. Don't worry, I know my battery's low. But we're gonna, like I said, measure things out. So we're definitely gonna need a bowl. So once that stops, we're just gonna hit tear. So it takes it back to setting zero, which is perfect. And then we're going to uh, cut this open and I'm gonna start measuring it in here. So now that I have my scale at zero, zero, as you can see here, I'm going to start putting some of this in. Now we're going to start with the one pound amount. Tim has the one pound bag set over here and then up here we have our um, half pound bags. So into the scale, I'm just going to start adding some ground beef. And I honestly don't need the knife. I just use this so I'm able to get ground beef all up in my nails. We're gonna keep an eye on this. I do have this set to pound and ounces, so when it does get up to a pound, it's going to change 
to one over here with zero point whatever over here. It's a little bit easier, especially if you're not 100% sure about your measurements or your weights. It's a good way to go. So right now I have 11.9 ounces or 11.8 ounces. 12, 13, throwing this on as you can see it changed to one pound 0.6 ounces. So I'm just gonna take a little bit out. Perfect, exactly one pound. So now we're gonna open up the bag. And actually something I do wanna do, I wanna kinda shape this burger meat a little bit. So it stacks better in the freezer? Yeah, exactly. It fits into the bag better. It's kinda hard to do with one hand, but I really don't want to get the bags all gross. A giant hamburger. Yes, one pound hamburger, that is gross. All right, so, so I'm just gonna get, gonna get this patty on into the bag. And then again, I can kind of freeform it and shape it in here, try to make it a little more square, and a little bit flatter. And boom, one bag done. Five more to go. All right, so we've got our four pounds of burger meat split up individually. So now we're getting ready to do the half pounds. Like I said, these half pounds are perfect for things like meatballs, or if we decide to do meat sauce or something, it's great. I did cut the last chunk in half, and I wanna see how close I am to getting it to the perfect eight ounces. So let's take a look. Oh, that's close. Perfect, eight. This should be eight. Oh. Very close. So I think we could take a little bit back from here and just kind of yeah. balance it out here. Oh. 7.9. Good enough. So now we have these, so we're just gonna get them in these bags over here that are our half pound bags. Then I'll show you guys all the vacuum sealing and then our meal prep will be done. Hey guys, so unfortunately I lost the footage of the vacuum sealing process for our hamburger. Um, however, you can see here that we did get everything vacuum sealed and our meal prep is complete. Um, we have the chicken, onions, cucumbers, peppers, Brussels sprouts, broccoli, and the um, hamburger meat. So that's all ready to go into the freezer and in the fridge. Thank you guys for watching. I hope you subscribe to our channel and we'll see you next week. Bye.